What is going on, dudes? My name is Lucas. Welcome back to the series for Lego Luck. In the last episode, we made here to Celadon City. We went through Fuchsia. We had to go a long way to Celadon. We helped out Janine with the cloisters, and we got a ton of encounters. So, anyways, I'm gonna go over the team real quick, just in case. Uh, so anyways, we have Megatron here. I still haven't got rid of Cut. I'm gonna actually go do that right after we do the team recap. So, uh, Megatron here has an atom in nature, holding leftovers with Cut Strength, Iron Head, Body Slam. Cut will be replaced for Earthquake as soon as I get the chance to delete Cut. Next up, we have Rosbaton, the Roserade with the Wise Glasses, Extra Sensory, Stun Spore, Giga Drain, Pedal Dance. Uh, it's got a neutral nature and technician, which technician doesn't really affect any of our moves currently, so pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Ernest the Charizard, holding the expert all five flamethrower, crunch, and cut. Um, it's, that's another reason I want to get rid of cut on Agron. This thing has cut already, so pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Power the Fly God channel mascot. Um, he has a neutral nature as well. We have three Pokemon of the neutral nature. Uh, he's holding the choice band because of... Um, well, <laughs> the previous series, he's got Crunch, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Strength. And we have Scar here, our other choice banded Pokemon, our Luxray, with a Naive Nature, with Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Crunch, and Fire Fang. And then finally, we have Gray, the Vaporeon, holding the leftovers of Grass Knot, Yawn, Ice Beam, and Surf. So, we've got a pretty darn good squad on us. Anyways, I'm going to fly back real quick. Alright, I also decided to get rid of Cut on Ernest and give him Earthquake as well. Just because I feel like that'll be useful. I may end up having to give him cut if we need cut in the future. As well as the fact is it's also good against water types, which is one of his weaknesses. So, anyway, I, I flew to Blackthorn and I meant to go Cerulean. I said Cerulean, I meant, meant Celadon. So we're going to go challenge the Celadon gym today, I think. I don't know if I'm supposed to be battling her or... Uh... What's her name yet? First? Whatever. Or Janine first, but I'm going to go with... Erica first, because we're here, and why not? Alright, Ernest, get out front. Ernest is going to be super helpful in this gym. It'd be great if I had a poison move on our, um, on Roserade. It'd be awesome. But yeah, I forgot about the redesign of this gym. It's also, a, like, in my opinion, it's a really good redesign. It is a bit frustrating to get through here, because you can't really tell where the hell you're supposed to go. Cause yeah, I'm actually thinking I'm supposed to go this way. There's no English, I'm gonna try to go straight to Erica. Okay. Flamethrower. <laughs> Next up is Sunflora. Uh, Ernest is gonna run through this gym, in all honesty. He's just crazy good. Dude, I can't remember how to get through this stupid gym. Do I go in this side? Okay, apparently I'm missing where I'm supposed to go here. There we go. That was really weird. It wouldn't let me go there before. Okay. Strange. Whatever. We protect Erica. We're gonna protect Erica. Okay. That's great. We have two, uh, uh, poison types out here. So extra sensory will do a lot of damage. Well, Oko, in all honesty. Wise Glasses, if you don't know what they do, they boost the power of all special moves used by the, the, the Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty dope. And that's why I gave him to Rosbuton rather than like giving it specs because it's got Stun Spore. So it makes that a pretty good move. Anyway, you think Girls Only Gym is rare? I don't know. I think it's, it's this one's probably the only one in the Pokemon world, in all honesty. But it's whatever. Alright, we'll put Ernest out front. Let's see what you say. Thanks for not going easy on me. I think that's wind. Okay. I, I just heard this loud. And I couldn't tell if that was like... Uh, I think it was it was wind. I made it sound like it was thunder, but it was definitely wind. I would assume. I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna just obliterate poor Obama Snow here and a Parasect. Ooh, yeesh! You put me to sleep. Carnivine can't do much. I did. Ow! Never mind. Uh, crit definitely does much. Holy cow! Get out of there! Seriously, that's two crits in a row. Freaking Carnivine. Sweet. There we go. We made it to Erica. How you doing? Alright, let's save here. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant, I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. You're from Jota, you say? How oh, nice. I'm sorry I didn't really see Mr. Jones me. I know. I've been training myself and not only fly me, also Pokemon battle. I shall not lose. Alright, let's do it. Jump off. Alright. Let's do this, Scar. Ice Fang 
this jump off into oblivion. This should oak out. Four times super effective from a Lux Ray that's Choice Banded. Goodbye. Alright, Skur gets a lot of health and. or not a lot of health, a lot of XP. Alephion. Alright, let's actually stay in. You know what? Thinking about it, I forgot Scar's a dark type. If he used X Scissor, that could be really bad. That could have been really bad. <laughs> oh man. I thought about that right as I stayed in, them, and I'm about to click Ice Fang. No. I forgot because X Scissor is like a common move on Leafeon. It doesn't have the greatest move pool. It's a great Pokemon, but it doesn't have that great of a move pool. It suffers from the Kingdra Syndrome. Great Pokemon, great stats, just bad move pool. Alright, a Victory Bell. Ernest can literally just sit in here and click Flamethrower and obliterate everything on the field. I might sit in Rosbuton though, she has like a Vileplume. I think Vileplumes are ace. I don't think she can actually do anything to a Rosbuton besides like Sludge Bomb. Okay, yeah, it's getting a little tiring because of how slow the HP drops in these games. Tangrowth. Okay. Um. No, I mean, Great Ice Beam might one-shot it, but I don't want to risk that. Oh, Tangrowth is your your ace. Interesting. I expected it to be a Valbloom. Maybe Tangla is in the original games. I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. I just beat Team Rocket in Silver version, so. My entire team is pretty underleveled. We, like, only half the team is at, like, 30. It's like, th we're 30 and 31s. Alright, we'll stay in. I think our, I'm just gonna let Ernest take care of this. Because it's the safest option. Um, because it'll take more than one hit from everyone else. And I don't have anyone else that's really good against grass types besides Scar with his fire and ice fang and then Ernest just being Ernest. Blossom is your final Pokemon. Okay. Blossom! That was not good. Alright, let's go. Let's go into Scar here. Let's finish this off with Scar. Blossom. Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you can. I mean, I already have your... your uh... That sucks. Uh, let's go Rosbaton then. I'll just extra sensory you. It should do a decent amount of damage. It obviously will not Oko. It may not even hit it down to yellow. No, it didn't do terrible damage. You're gonna use Synthesis. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go in back into Scar, and this time not click Thunderfang on accident, and you lowered my... And that's just dandy. Oh my gosh, Scar, how did you live that? See, this is what happens when I don't just do the safe play and just let... What's his name? Take care of it. Ernest. Ernest just has got this. I wanted to have some fun, play a, play a little risks, but we almost lost our... Whatever. Looks like an underestimated you. Well, yeah. I have all eight. I have like four... No, 12 badges now. Do we? Yeah, four... 12 badges. I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I should give you the rainbow badge. We get the rainbow badge from America. Sweet. It was a delightful match. I felt inspired. I wish you had this TM19. It's Giga Drain. That is really good, actually. It's indeed horrifying. It's not horrifying, it's an actually amazing move. This one needs a bitter aftertaste. Another strong taste supposed me to do better. So, okay, yeah, so you had to be Erica to get into Saffron. That makes sense. Except it doesn't. What? Isn't there, like, supposed to be a fast way out of here? I don't know, whatever. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Alright, we got our fourth gym badge. We may go take on Janine, too. We did get access to Saffron City, but Koga's... Koga comes before Sabrina anyway, so we're going to be taking on the 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 poison type of gym weeder. Actually, since it said we have the chance to go to the uh, Saffron City, I want to check really quick the route. I want to see if the route... Jeez, I'm my... It's just don't want to work correctly. Alright, over here. This is Route 8, so this is a new encounter. Not bad. This is a new route, so we get a new encounter, and there's an item up here. What did the item? It's a mental herb. That's a... Okay, that's a great. It's a study of you. 
Thefon City. We <laughs> we get the option to use the magnet train once we get Copycat's Poké Doll from wherever. Let's see, uh, did he do, did Rayano? I guess he didn't do anything at the fighting dojo. Because the guy's off training in Mount Silver or something like that. I don't know if you can actually find him in Mount Silver. What do you have to say? Puny Trainer, if you can't get the Soul Badge, we're far too strong for you. Okay, that's a bit mean. I was just trying to see what you said. Uh, it used to be a permanent in the small factory. I don't care. Why was that important at all? Oh, this guy's Mr. Psychic. Don't call me Uncle Psy. You feel great psychic potential erupting for your body. Prove me it's true. Show me psychic type. It was each reached the end of two evolutions. Well, shit. You're right. I don't have one on my team right now. Got it. You wanted this. Thanks for psychic. Okay, but a psychic type that has reached the end of reached its third evolution. Do I have one of those? I don't know if I've used one, but I definitely have one. Well, I shouldn't say I definitely have one. Metagross. Hey. That works. Other oh, Metagross, please you potentially worthy of this. The mind plate. Alright, thanks. I'm sorry, Optimus, you gotta go back in the PC. Your overworld sprite doesn't do you justice. So obviously we can't challenge the Saffron Gym until we beat Fuchsia. So I may end up just taking on that gym today too. Cupcake girl looked unhappy. happy she lost her Poké doll. I don't remember where. Yes, I remember. It, it's in the Pokemon fan club. The dude who was talking about the Clefairy in the Pokemon fan club. Blissey. But I like Mimic. Her Mimic is under the name Copycat. Lost the Poké Dolls her boy gave her three years ago or something. Whatever you said. Okay. Let's go talk to Copycat. This Poké Doll looks like the real thing. Oh, I moved. It's a real Bonnet. No past Poké Doll. Flower like polka doll, it's Cherim. Hold on, wait, what did. I wanna see what it said about. It's a nose like polka doll. So that. Okay, I get it. Because that's its poke. That's what it's labeled that is in, in the Pokedex. It's the nose Pokemon. Go now, leave it the first time, it makes me sort of anxious. <laughs> okay, sure, dude. Alright, we're gonna go get that because I'm pretty sure it's in. Vermilion. Gets us a Magnet Train pass, but. Using the Magnet Train isn't that convenient. It's, it's easier to fly back and forth, I think. Love Clefairy, good. I'm making a Poké Doll. What? The girl lost Poké Doll said you should take this back to there. I have a friend to read Clefairy. Thank you. Simple enough. Steven? Oh, hello, Zokium. I wasn't expecting to find you here. If you need luck collecting more of the plates, if I do, me get an accident, me see a space called the Mystery Sage. Maybe Cynthia can help with that. By the way, have you heard of a Pokemon called Latias? I've been investigating with Latias Pokemon for and said to leave home to come here. That Pokemon has a lot to do with the Soul Dew, a gem like warp. He said, in fact, Latias is now in Gando, it's possible to to do with the Soul Dew. How does the Pokemon travel a great distance? It'd be difficult to find without a machine to track it. Any other train will be drawn to it, won't they? Link ends up in Singing House Computer. You should come visit if you have time, particularly if you happen to find that Pokemon I just mentioned. May our journeys cross again. I think he gives you the Soul Dew. Um, so I want to check and see. Is. Okay, yeah, a lot of yes is a roaming Pokemon. Not bad. Hey, this is my Clefairy doll! See the tail where the right arm is soon on? That's proof. I'll give you this magnet train as I promised. Okay, thanks for the pass. You showed a ticket and gave the magnet train. Real company man gave them me toward an old house for the station. Wow. This is Silphco, famous Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket with a company because of that. Hello, just need to expect I'm the Cameron the photographer, sure. Let's do it, Cameron. Oh no, Vaporeon's covered up on my my face thinking about it uh it may, she may be covered he may be covered up by Roselia now yeah that sucks hey there we go that's probably the best we're gonna get considering the sign is also in front of Vaporeon okay let's see if there's anything in here oh uh, hey Zog I bet you weren't expecting to see me here right I'm taking a look at me since so I heard you collect the dip out of the cattle it's been a later for me no dip I give you the other two but you didn't choose it only ran down danger Party to full, come and see me again another time, please. Is there a Poké? There's no... Oh, uh, no. I gotta run all the way back to the Pokémon Center. Why? I was ex actually expecting him to show me a Jota Pokémon. I was actually expecting him to ask me to show him a Meganium. <laughs> we got the Cyndaquil and Totodile. 
I'll be returning you back. See you around. Alright, uh, see ya, Elm. See ya, Queen. Man, I can't do that. I, that sucks. I, I used to be able to do voices of several of the Pokemon. Really, really, well, like, what you saw from the anime, obviously. Really well. I just can't anymore. It sucks. Don't get old. <laughs> Not even old. Don't get older. I should say that. It's a better, better way to say it. Okay, do we have any more encounters we can get? I think we can, if we can go south of Fuchsia. I almost said Falthus of Susha or something like that. I actually didn't mean to go in here just yet. Uh, I wanted to go see if I can go south yet. I can. Never mind. Actually, I might be able to get a Rock Smash encounter, but I don't have a Rock Smash Pokemon. Hold up. Alright, I had to grab our deceased Caesar out of the box. Which sucks. Our, our second one. Man, I am upset. I don't even remember how they died. Was that when Blue met, or not Blue, Silver massacred our team? I don't remember. There we go. It's a Kingler. Interesting that I found a Kingler after breaking a rock. Sweet. Alright, I don't think there's much else we can do before we have to... Do we have to kick Team Rocket to Silph Co again? I don't remember if we do that in this game or not. But we're gonna... We gotta, like, go fight Janine. She's got all these clones and whatnot. In all honesty, I don't need to, to, to train at all. Well, like, super overpowered. I think... I was gonna say, I think this person's the right one, but it's not. It's this one. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Janine of Fuchsia Gym. That's me. As I said before, thank you for helping build me and everyone lives in within Fuchsia City. So, Jim, let's be rational. <laughs> it's time for a battle. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Ow, I spit my cheek again. Anyway, alright. Okay, so I actually should have challenged Janine before I did Erica, because this will be an even easier battle. You're a psychic, you're not even a poison type anymore. You fooled me. You got me good. Oh, that's just dandy, isn't it? I'm gonna just. Um. I under. I. What? <laughs> Bug Buzz, four times. No, it's it's two times resisted. Jeez, and that's terrible. Alright. That, that freaking sucks. I have to earn, send Ernest in to save the day. Alright, cool fish. Get out the Rosbaton. At least. <laughs> at least Megadron did not die. That would have sucked. Alright, let's just... whatever. I don't even have a physical move! You're just wasting my time! There we go. Sweet! Alright. Weezing! Weezing is good on the physical side, not as much special. So, hopefully extra sensory can O come, considering I'm also like three levels above. Nearly four now. They're gonna Willow. That's fine. Mainly because I'm not a physical attacker, and you can't outspeed me. Rosebud goes level 64. Oh yeah! Whatever. Next up is Toxic Rock. I'm gonna stay in. I was thinking I wanted to switch because of the burn, but I'm four times super effective. There's no way you're living this. Sorry, little buddy. Toxic Rook's a cool Pokemon. Just sucks it's so frail. And it's such a bad level up moveset. Next up is a Drapion. Alright, so I sent in one of my big guns with the Earthquake. Power! Power! He's over there. I need to be cropped out by the green screen anyway. Alright. This is your last Pokemon. You got a creep battle technique. It's just all out of offense. That's just how it is. And Banded Earthquake, you going down. This ain't li leaving bad memories because my my Drapion is still alive. He beat the Elite Four with me. Because he's a bomb. 
There we go. We beat Janine. So strong. Okay. More or less. You've defeated my Koga, my father, and a member of the Leaf War to come here. No wonder you're strong. Definitely one. Here's a soul badge. Take it. We got the soul badge from Janine. Boom. You're so tough. I have a special gift. This poison jab. Powerful poison type move that may poison its victim. Poison jab is a good move. I, the last team I had of that I gave to my Nita Queen. I'm gonna really apply myself and improve my skills. I wanna get much better both my father and you. You may never win my another battle. Sure. See you then. Boom! We did it! We are the greatest! The greatest of all time! Sweet. Simple enough. That is six badges down and cancel already. No, five, excuse me. But still, five badges and cancel, and what? This is. I think this is episode 23. We started Kanto in episode 19 or something like that, 18 or 19. So we've got we've been hauling ass through Kanto. They made Kanto shorter, not like I don't think on purpose, but it just ended up being shorter because there's not as much as you need to do with it this time. Okay, um, we could do some training along with uh, against the people over here. But I haven't yet battled, so there's a lot of them. I believe we got a Route 15 encounter. Um, because I believe it changed back at the corner after we met Suicune. And I'm pretty sure that's when I was... Did you use... Okay, you use Fly. Goodbye. Sorry. Not sorry. You're gonna call mine? That's real smart. Especially when you've got an Agron in front of you when you're in Alkazam. I have to phone my mom. I have to phone my mom. Okay, sweet. Goodbye. And a goodbye. Megatron's gonna wreck house through here. Alright, strength. Ow. Megatron's got bad special defense, man. I really need that assault vest here. <laughs> They're gonna use gravity, that's great. I don't know why. Sure. Du -du -du. I'm sitting here seeing the kids around be playing in the brain and sitting in class. Of course. That sucks. I didn't mean to use Earthquake. I meant to use Strength. It didn't go right. Okay, Iron Head. I don't know why Iron Head specifically. You asked Nasty Plot and then Double Hit. That doesn't make sense. Teacher Hillary. Love to do more battle preparation reviews, sure, whatever. Peace, nerd. Look at my little Flygon. Would you like to give me your item, buddy? Yes. You have an orange fluff. What do you have to say? Powers jumping for joy. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy, little buddy. Rose incense. It's basically the miracle seed. Hang your Pokemon, show me, show me. Except I think it sells for a lot more. Dragon Claw. Sweet. Bull beat. Dragon Claw. Bye bye. Yep, that was great, he says. I used two Dragon Claws. You saw nothing in my Pokemon. We're on the school trip lab in a radio town for social studies. Then why are you. Like so far south in near Fuchsia City. I don't get that. Whatever. Ow. That did not do as much as I expected it to, actually. Next up is a Rapidash. I think I'll, yeah, Rapidash is kind of frail. I mean, it's not r super frail, but it's not very bulky. Alright, Power. Let's keep going, buddy. Power's coming along happily. I'm glad. I love you, my boy. Oh, uh, did I fight you? Yes, you were one of the people I couldn't avoid. Now, when I, I don't want to miss this item this time. You've forgotten anything? About what? Because, if it's just in general, probably. I tend to. Anyway, goodbye. Oh, I didn't fight you guys. I forgot. You were the twins, K and T. Do you know which one I am? No. I can assume K is going to be on the left, though, because of how English works. You both have a level... <laughs> I didn't actually expect them to both have Quagsire. Uh, we'll go Gray and Rosbuton. Mainly because it's just a better matchup for the both of us. Alright, let's do that, and then we'll just Giga Drain the one that used Amnesia, because it probably won't matter. Scargo's so level 64, and then goodbye. We both lost, you're right. Yet Final Battling, how about you change phone numbers and battle again? 
Sure, it's a good thing my character's like 10, probably, in this game or something like that. What's this item that I missed? It's a peepee up. Okay, not too bad. I'll use that on someone's earthquake, because I used the last one on flamethrower. Uh, uh, power, you get a earthquake boost. Because earthquake's like the best move in the game. Because I'm not sure there's anything else we can do besides take on Fuchsia City. Can't wait to go home and drop up my bag. Okay. It's a Lanoon. Lanoon. I don't know why I'm still leading out with power. Power's already hit 64. Gotta keep the team even, dude. Gray's the only one not at 64. We got Scar leveled up. What's up? Alright, let's get this Pokemon battle started. It's good to put what you learned to use immediately. Alright. Um, I was gonna surf, but I'm gonna Ice Beam the Sand Slash. That'll probably still kill. And on Thunderfang Lanoon, I should have probably crunched, but it's okay. Sweet. Next up, Roserade and Cast Form. Alright, let's Ice Beam the Roserade and then Thunderfang the Cast Form. Goodbye, Cast Form. You're gonna pedal dance on my Gray. That's gonna hurt like a banshee. Come on, Gray, hang in there. Don't die on me, please. Woo! Gray, you're the goat. Oh my goodness. Anacrit. Gray. Hell yeah. How did you survive that? You know I'm gonna practice a whole bunch of battle the next time. Whatever. Gray, you're a monster. What do you have to say? Gray seems to be nodding off. Call out its name. Your Pokemon is so surprised it jumped. Alright, Gray. You have an after school study sessions? No. Screw that. Surf. And goodbye. Sweet. So strong. Thanks. And I want to see what you said because I didn't get the chance to. You know which is the cutest Pokemon in the world? It's Chansey. See Chansey in this file. I'll give you some good ring. Bring me a Chansey. I, I want to say it's Lucky Punch. I will go get my Chansey though because I do have one. Alright, let's put this Chansey up front. You know which is the cutest Pokemon is Chansey? Whatever. The Pokemon is Chansey. With a Chansey and Chansey, take this to my good. Called it. it was Lucky Punch. Isn't that awesome? It's just. You know what? Since you're literally the only one that can use a Chansey, you're gonna get to hold a Lucky Punch. Alrighty, so we have some more Pokemon to trade out, and I believe that's basically all we're gonna do for this episode. I don't know what more there is to do right now um, without challenging the Saffron Gym, so we're just not gonna do that. Three gyms in one episode is a bit overkill. I could probably do it and get it all done and. No worry, and be in decent time still, but just, just a little much. So we're going to go here to box 10. We're going to pull up my random number generator. All right, the first number we generate is... I'm not going to lie, this is... Okay, we'll do 17. 17 is different than normal. <laughs> we get so many of the same numbers over and over and over again. It's just, it's frustrating. All right, next up, box 11 is... Agent number three. Octavia is holding the expert belt. For some reason, I feel like I've hatched an egg. An egg. Um. Something called Oct Octavius already. Anyway, next up is egg 22. Another leftovers Pokemon. And then finally, we have number 13. Another leftovers. That's two leftovers in the same hatch. That's so weird, man. My luck is so weird. All right, let's see what this first egg is. Dun 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 dun. It's a key ball. That's dupes. All right, what's next? It's a remoraid. Nice. Technically won the championship for us, even though it died in the championship fight. Would have named you Celeste if you were female, but... Nah. Nah. You don't get that right. Okay. Next up is... It's actually Kisame. <laughs> A shiny gibble. Or shiny gibbite. The hell? What kind of luck is that? <laughs> it's stoops, considering it's a gabite and also species because it's it, it came from a gibble. That's so strange. That would have only been level 10. We've been at a level 10 gabite. 
That don't make no sense. And then the final Pokemon we're hatching for level 28 in place of the Kingla. It's a Poloag. Do we have a Poloag? I feel like we have a Poloworld. Okay, you have Dragon Breath, Iron Head, Sam Tomb, and Tackle. You have Water Gun, Water Spout, Roar Beam, Rock Blast. You are Modest with Iron Head, Outrage, Thrash, and Sandstorm. And then you have Bubble Beam, Mudshot, Refresh, and Mist. So let's see, do I have a Poliwag? Because I feel like I hatched one. Yep. And he stayed a Poliwag. And I named him Tanner. Alright, so all four of those are dupes. <laughs> I knew three of them were. But I was hoping the others, other ones would be good. Alright, anyway. Let's try that again. Alright. Box number 30, egg number 20. I think I said box number 30. I was mentioning that because I wrote down... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Next up, box 12, egg number 5, you have a dust stone. Great, I know what you're gonna be. It's basically one of two options. Uh, alright, this one's number 10. I don't know who was calling me, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, a routes. Did I just say routes? A routes. I am pretty sure that's not dupes. So that's really cool. You're gonna be Cynthia. Incorrect. I just remember naming it Cynthia now that we have a Ralph. We've had at least two. I know I don't know if we've used one. I think it I think it died, actually. Anyway, what's up next? Another Eevee! Great! <laughs> I mean, we still got many evolutions to use, but I don't want to use another evolution. <laughs> oh man, what's that? What's this? A Murkrow. That's what I need. It's a good thing we're getting low on actual encounters in this game. <laughs> there are so many duplicates. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Egg twenty-four. I'm just gonna take whatever number, I'm not even gonna worry about the... The issue with getting the same numbers over the time in, in individual boxes is that you keep hatching the new egg. So, uh, by me organizing, I hatched the new one rather than uh, hatching an old one. Um, let's see. I'm pretty positive that Ralts is dupes. Yeah, it's in the death box. That was our second death overall. Alright, this one's gonna be 13. Next up, egg number 4. So right next to the Kisame. Ippo. Interesting. That might be a on. I'm I skipped one. Which box did I skip? Did I skip box twelve? No. What the heck? How did I mess up? No, I don't that was really weird. Okay. <laughs> don't worry about that. That seems pretty strange. Okay. Cell events. Holding a metal coat. Okay, let's see what you're gonna be. These eggs. I can hope for something that's not dupes, but a Grimer! I'm pretty sure we don't have one. I could be wrong. Now, as I said that, I feel like, once again, that I've hatched one. I'm gonna name it, obviously. Alright, we have Slushy the Grimer. I feel like we've hatched one. That's the issue, is it? Pound, Shadow Punch, Meme, Look, Poison Gas. The natures are so freaking weird, bro. Alright, what's up next? A neater in mail! Yo, that's so cool! We haven't had a Nido King! That is so That is crazy! That we have not hatched one of those yet. What do I even name you? I'm gonna name you Haas. I'm actually changing up the Kansas City Nido King's logo for the next season of the IBL. It's gonna be based on a shiny Nido King instead of the normal Nido King colors, but. I wish this guy stayed shiny, but that's okay. Quiet nature with, ne with Leader Peck head smash and beat up. Not bad. Rivalry. That's really bad, actually. Um, okay, so I think the two with actual names, Ippo and Celebon, we haven't hatched yet. Um, anyway. It's a good thing that Ippo and Nidoran were the same level, because I, I think I might have gotten it switched. I think you are the Celebon. 
I'm pretty sure, because, like, I don't know. This thing was holding... Celebon was holding metal code. Yeah, Ippo is the last one to hatch. Alright, Adamant, Quick Attack, Night nice Slash, Reversal, and, and Safeguard. Sadly, no Technician, but that's okay. I might keep it this time. I mean, this will be our third Scyther, and if Megatron goes down, I would love to replace it with a Scyther. Alright, and the final egg. So I need to... Yeah. So Tyro, great. Dupes. Man, I don't even want, I don't really even like Tyrug. Maybe I thought we had a Grimer because we've traded one in. But let's see, the number we get here is 23. Alright, I have no idea what you are, so I guess we'll see. I want to just double check my depth chart though. I want to see if I actually did hatch a Grimer. I did! Okay, so I can exchange that Grimer for... Huh, dupes encounter too. We're gonna do box... No, we're gonna do box 9 for the hell of it. Because why not? We'll hatch two eggs from box 9. And you will get in the box in place of that Grimer. I didn't actually check and make sure... Okay, neither of you guys had items. That's good. Alright. What's it gonna be? Another Shinx. <laughs> we haven't hatched that many, which I kind of find surprising, but I'm not going to keep you. As sad as it is, as, as good as Shinx is, we have a Luxray in our party. A Chimchar. Great! Fortune power, but not what I need! Actually, I don't need anything. I just want Pokemon that aren't duplicates, because I can obviously take a duplicate, because I'm allowed to. But I don't want to. All right, the the number I generated for this was 29. And it doesn't matter which one I place because I've already got I know which is which, which has what level. All right, 19. Dun, 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 dun. I replaced the Shinx for the Shinx. What luck is that? I guess it's the same luck that. I replaced a Ryalu with a Ryalu <laughs> earlier in the series. Oh yeah, yeah, it wasn't even that long ago because of, we've been having the dupes issues now. A sand shrew! That is so cool. I may already have one, but that is so cool. Again, I remember naming something Pistachio. Man, you're docile with the same move set. Metal Claw Knight slash Sword Stance Encounter. You're actually pretty good with a relaxed nature too. Let's see, do I have... Uh, because if I have a sand shrew and the one that I just hatched is better, I will keep the one that I just hatched and release the other one. And I may en end up using either. Yeah. Okay. Sword Dance, Rock Slide, Night Slash, and Mud Shot. You're both good. And I'm gonna have to exchange this one just because it's a lower level. So this has been a, one hell of a, a trading session. So productive. Okay, we'll exchange them both for the, this gold pen box. So we have two here. Drunk Fist. I have a feeling that's another Tyrug. And then 28. Literally on the opposite side of the box from each other. I don't even need to worry about it. I have like freaking 10 leftovers now. Even with the ones on my Pokemon. What's it gonna be? It's a Krogunk! You remember when I was just saying that it was so cool to have a Toxic Rogue? Yo! I know that we have not hatched one of those. Dude, that is so sick. Are you female? No. I don't know what to name you. Because the last one I had, I named Peaches. We're gonna name you Takra. Now, the main reason for that is Takra is a common name for some of the uh, Urukai captains in Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. And some of them can be poisonous. Some, some of them can have, like, poison uh, stuff and whatnot. Anyway, you're adamant with Drain Punch, Acupressure, Bull Punch, or Counter. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be so st stoked to use you. I mean, it'd be Agron getting replaced, because Agron is the, typing-wise, the most expendable in the squad. But I'd love to use this thing, bro. That is so cool. That is actually, like, amazing. Alright, and finally... Another Gibble! No, 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 no! 
It's crazy. Like, at this rate, we're gonna only have, like, three boxes here soon. Well, not really. That was just an, that was an exaggeration, but still. Dragon Scale. You're a horsey. I'm not even gonna hatch that. I think, to this day, it's still the only Pokemon that hatched. Happiness of the Lucky Egg. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I have a feeling I know what this is. I think it's gonna be a Chansey. Or a Happiny. But let's see! If it's a Happiny, obviously I'm not keeping a Happiny. Bad. That is completely different from what I thought it was gonna be, but that's still dupes. That's crazy, though. We have, like, a level 10 Apom. Um. Happiness of the Lucky Egg. And. I mean, in my mind, it made sense. Oh, it's gonna be a. You know. A whatever. Anyway. We're just, I mean, I'm kind of just trying to keep the amount of Pokemon we have. I will go to the, yeah, uh, Adamant with Slam, Fake Out, Bounce, and Sand Attack. Technician will be a great on you. But, uh, let's see, you're in this box now, aren't you? I was about to say, wait, am I wrong? Yeah, I forgot I named you Nadine. Sweet. You have a worse moveset, but, you know what? Not much I can do about that. And what's this gonna be? Come on, just be not a duplicate Pokemon. No matter if I'm gonna get a chance to use it or not, it's a damn Ryalu. I love Ryalu so much, I'm using a third Scyther, but I'm not gonna use a third Ryalu. Whatever, we're just gonna generate another one from this box, because whatever. <laughs> this takes so long. Mild, we'll cook attack, blaze cunt. Blaze cunt, yes, okay. Were you holding anything? You weren't. Okay, good. What's gonna be? It's a Hippowdon! Or Hippopotas! That's adorable. It's adorable, it's a Gwilia. Just like the one from the Soul Link that died that was paired with the, the Latias or whatever. Alright, well we're finally done hatching! It takes so long to hatch now because I just have so many, there's so many Pokemon we've already gotten, so there's so many duplicates, and I'm even keeping a duplicate in the Scyther. But, anyway, I'm just going to evolve this thing into a Caesar wall. I'm talking. So, anyways, I'm going to be ending this episode here. Really hope you enjoyed it. appreciate it. Next episode, we're going to be going to uh, Saffron. I don't know what exactly we need to do. If we have to challenge the gym or if we do the whole thing at, um, at Silf Cover. So, we're just going to evolve him. Bullet Punch. Yep, you're going to learn Bullet Punch. Uh, get rid of Safeguard, because why not? That's about it, everybody. Really hope you enjoyed your looks. Please subscribe for all time. See you later.